Lee Hawk. And this is James, who is... Drumroll. Building suspense. Also, a looks like. Yeah, this is gonna be a Lucas Ditto. Alright, this should be neat. Huh. Hmm. I don't see that very often. Three, Looks like they're probably doing a hand warmer here. One, go. Oh, what is this Lucas skin? That is neat. Damn, they actually just gave him the mask. Dang. Yep, this is, this is, this is what we're in for. Lots of DJC fair, magnet cancel stuff. No Alright, looks like going for real bands now. That was a quick hand warmer. Yeah, they literally like magneted three times and like, yeah, yeah, that's that's, that's, that's not what we're, we we're expecting, yeah. Yeah. And I feel like every time I do a hand warmer, it's like 45 seconds to a minute. And I'm not even doing anything, I'm just like wave dashing. <laughs> it's probably yeah, my I, bad I, I, that. I feel like I definitely take about that time too. Yeah. Like, I feel like 10 seconds is like not enough. Like, what am I gonna do? Like, can I, can I do the things that I like always drop last day at last dogs? That, you know, the, the dashing forwarder off of the, the brain dead kill confirm. Oh. Womp womp. <laughs> yeah. Or the hard stuff like uh, all the dumb pivots and stuff that you can do in this game with the uh, type jump off. Yeah. I mean, my hand warmer is mostly just like, can I ledge dash today? The answer is usually no. But sometimes it's yes. <laughs> Every once in a while. Right, Isn't that the worst part, part though? When you when you practice the ledge dashes right before, and it's like you're not hitting them at all. You're like, oh, yeah, I guess I'm. I guess play bracket now. Ledge dashing today. Somehow I get the sense that that might not be a problem between these two players. Probably have a better command huh. next build than I do. <laughs> huh. I mean, I'd hope so if they're in bracket right now. At least in the moment. It'd be nice to see some uh, some clean ledge play. So one of the things I've noticed just from playing against Shadowhawk lately is he's really good at keeping himself safe from panic options. So when you're when you're looking at him, keep an like keep an eye out for the situations where James gets a chance to break out of something. And Shadowhawk is generally very good at covering whatever the option his opponent would match out of. That's what, from my experience playing against it, that's what I've been getting caught by a lot. So I'm interested to see how James can cover that in his own combos. Um, it's an interesting thing to point out, but uh, well, I guess we'll see. I mean, yeah. what 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 would Lucas want to break out with? Probably DJC upper is impossible. Or DJC upper, uh, Nair is not bad. Reasonably fast. Magnet, reasonably fast. He doesn't have a ton of super great like, and there's no like Luigi Nair kind of thing where you can just like back hit it, get out. But uh, he's got options like right. like there you saw like the uh, like just the, the short hop Nair get out of some pressure. Um, things along those lines. Alright. Dunk him? No dunk. But, can we get a second dunk? Nope. I like the way he positions himself. Like, he does the magnet to threaten the spacing yeah. of if he were to double jump out. That was yeah. a really good confirm, by the way. Yeah. Um, then he'll just air dodge to ledge with tether and, uh, and mix up when he gets on the tether. Just so he can mix up his, his iframes. Really yeah. good play. Very good. So game does not establish himself as a spot dodger very much there, so it's pretty. It's, he, um, I think Shadowhawk identified that, and managed to get that uh, grab that led to that sort of situation there. He hit the shield, backed off, and just grabbed. And I mean, with Lucas, that's more risky than it is the other character doing the tether. So yeah, definitely something to be careful of. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, he's fine. And yes. Yeah. Oh. He's got a really good command of uh, offstage. Like, he's not overcommitting at all. And even yeah. when he did there, it was off a good read. And he still made it back just fine. Yeah. Oh, he gets the meteor. Great or gets the to hit people that are offstage, and especially people that are trying to recover high. He's got really good options to cover that, which is actually, like, relatively abnormal, I find. It's generally easier to cover people going low. You just kind of stand on the ledge and do something and hit them. But I find that um, the mobility that Lucas has off stage makes him very well suited to hitting people that are trying to avoid the ledge grab, ledge jump aerial situation that 
results from going low. I don't know if you've seen, if you know what I'm talking about, can corroborate that. No, I, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Um, I feel like the way he positions himself on stage is because of the, like, like you said, I think he covered it well. Yeah. The way he, like, he, he's honestly really good at shifting his hurtbox as well, just because of uh, things like uh, Beer vs. Magnet. Yeah. Uh, and Magnet. Yeah. yeah. That's enough. Yeah. yeah. Uh, really he, 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 sorry. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, I was gonna say, even when he like DJ uses his aerials like that, um, it, it's not as scary as it would look like with a character like maybe like or something or Mewtwo, where you don't want to DJ your aerials in a certain manner. But because of the way his recovery is and how much distance he gets off of it, uh, he can do those like almost immediate falling aerials. Yeah. Uh, where he either mixes up, uh, do I do rising? Do I do just a slight delay on the double jump cancel, or do I go for it immediately? And you cover so many different options. And Bagger is such a good hitbox for it too. Oh yeah. And Lucas having that really fast fall speed means that you you can just drop out of the sky with that in there. Like you just you just saw you just saw Shadowhawk do that. I've seen James do it too. Um, and it's it's so fast, and he's moving so much when that happens. It's tough to it's tough to avoid sometimes. Nairn's an underrated kill move too. Like once you hit like the 100 plus mark, uh, if they DI out, like it does send it a pretty shallow angle for yeah. a long lasting move. It's not the world's strongest move, but it does have a pretty good angle. So it's definitely, I mean, like I've been killed by it at relatively low percent. It's, it's definitely a good move. One of the things that I really like seeing from Lucas off stage is the, and I think we touched on this a little bit earlier, but the, the sheer number of ways he can mess with his momentum as he's drifting towards the blast zone to cover things. Because he's got the, he's got his own fast falling, which is really fast for a DJC character. Uh, he's got uh, Magnet to stall, he's got the, uh, even just like a B reverse uh, PK freeze. Yeah. He can just slide out there at, at a nice like horizontal angle. Um, and like the way you use those to catch people trying to recover high gives Lucas a very um, maneuverable offstage game that I think people won't, wouldn't really expect from a character whose recovery involves such a long startup. But yeah, I, I agree with you. Great. Offstage game is very good. Yeah. Uh, not just that, but like with everything that you've mentioned and that we've even seen, like just I, I'm still I still love the absolute way that he threatens offstage play. And then he just goes immediately to the ledge with tether, and because he has a tether recovery as an option, it may it may not be an amazing option, a very fast yeah. like long long distance recovery option. As a mix up at ledge, it lets him go from threatening a specific area where he might force a low recovery to I now have ledge. I can mix up when I get my iframes, and I also have like an amazing downer to cover those low uh, like ledge holding options. Yeah. Oh, really Ooh, good. Yeah. There's a, a lot of stuff right now, but I wanted to I wanted to mention uh, a couple of things that James did. He caught uh, Shadowhawk, I think, with a fair right as he started the upbeat, and uh, Shadowhawk just dropped. Uh, and that was very, really good awareness, followed by the uh, the up smash that normally isn't safe, but was safe there because he was able to slide directly to the ledge and grab it. That's that's one of the uh, sort of mobility things that Lucas had. He's so slick he can really uh, keep himself safe just by like, sliding around. Things yeah. like that. I mean, the, the mix of, of a good dash dance, uh, an amazing neutral tools, plus wow, wow. Yeah, uh, he's right down yeah. Looks right around, use that dare that you were talking about, and boom, he's dead. Oh! Oh! Uh, I think he, uh, he killed him with the wind block. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a way to end that game. <laughs> <laughs> that that is the one thing we didn't mention was the uh, the win box on the neutral beat measure. Power up. Uh, 